big coach friend ended up doing for me with my values is saying, I want you to make a collage. I want you to have those words that really, really mean something to you, like journal about it, really think through what's the definition of this word. Everyone loves freedom, but what does freedom actually mean to you? Because you will come up with a definition that is completely different from someone else. Mm. So actually go there and write that definition and write what other words link to that word that really means something to you. And is there a Bible verse that actually completely describes that for you? And, or it might be a song lyric or it might be an image. Um, so she challenged me, me to make a collage, which you probably can't see because I, you got, I got excited. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I made I made it all colourful and then it all faded because I got overexcited and left it in a place in my office that I would always see, but it's in the sun. Um, right. And so actually for me, my core values are adventure, compassion, stewardship, joyful, tenacity, spiritual. Beautiful. So in a way, it's what you were saying. You, I can just reel off a load of words and that can sound kind of nice, but nothingness at the same time yeah. but i know if i if there hasn't been a spiritual element to my day yet or if i haven't done something that counts as adventurous for me mm. this week there will be something in me that's just a bit kind of like a bit on edge like something's not right, right. And, and you can go through life and just not even acknowledge that or want to figure out what that is mm. but because i have this sheet right next to me on my desk all the time i can as soon as I'm feeling a bit kind of not right or, oh, that was a bigger emotion than I was expecting, I can go, right, is that because someone kind of wasn't being compassionate or wasn't stewarding something well and it just really wound me up? Mm -hmm. And actually now do I take a moment and just deal with that and let it go and move on or do I need to make bigger decisions about what I'm doing with this person? <laughs> For me, I find it really comforting that God has a plan because I love a plan. I've got loads of friends who really don't love a plan and they're like, what if God has this big plan for me and I hate it? Like, what then? And I think, so again, it's personality stuff, isn't it? And it's what, but yeah. God has put really unique stuff in all of us. And I think if we're not finding out what that is and truly believing that that's actually going to be an exciting thing and a safe thing and a peaceful thing, and that God wants us to be that unique person, then it is always just going to feel off kilter. It's not going to feel aligned. And I also think that we quite often think that this purpose and this bigger plan is always going to be a mystery. And yes, there's going to be an element of that, but I really think he does want to talk to us about it. And yeah. having gone on this kind of big discovery of myself, I really do feel like it's my purpose to help other people find their purpose. Um, and, and I don't think it has to be hard. Like, I think because I like an adventure and I like joy, that is how I see this process being and what I kind of bring to that space. And if you get me as a coach, then I'm like, let's just ask God a load of questions and see mm. what he says, because he wants to be in conversation with us. He wants us to know who we are and where we're headed. And yes, he might not always give us the finer details because that's probably not the best plan for us to know all the details. Definitely, I know for sure it's definitely not for me. Um, I still get answers from him every day and I ask him questions and I go, well, what should I be doing? And what is the plan for that? And I get answers. And I, and I don't think that I'm kind of a particular type or special type of person that means that, that I get the answers and someone else doesn't. I really believe that everyone can have those kind of conversations with him. So, and actually that I might know more stuff about me now. And there is a certain element of self-awareness and emotional intelligence that make things a bit more tricky in some ways, because there is so much going on in my mind all the time. And I'm like, oh gosh, it's maybe, maybe this would be easier if I was just completely oblivious. <laughs> yeah. It's a bit tiring doing all the work all the time, but I know, yeah. I know really that that's not true, that it is worth going there. And um, yeah just being in conversation with God about all the all the big stuff that actually doesn't have to feel so big is is amazing. Mm -hmm.